the cosmos is all there is, or ever was, or ever will be. The vast expanse of this infinite universe, the numerous galaxies and suns and worlds, the gravity waves of space-time, the planets of stars that never die, to the universes smaller than atoms, all governed by the mysterious forces of nature. The age and size of the cosmos are written in light and all the bodies in it governed by gravity. The nature of the beauty and the substance of the stars, the laws of space and time, they were all along, but we never saw them until we devised a new powerful way of seeing. The story of this awakening has many beginnings and no ending. Today we know there exists a hidden universe of dark matter, six times more massive than the familiar cosmos. We don't see it, but we all know it's there because of its gravity which pulls up all the galaxies and speeds up the visible stars within them. As the universe is expanding, so is the amount of dark matter in it. The impact its gravity has on the galaxies around it is overwhelming. Since the birth of the cosmos to the birth of the solar system and after, gravity has always played a major role in shaping everything in the cosmos. The gravity of the asteroid on the right just nudged the other tad to the left. That difference of an inch gave the Earth a hell of a beating. Fragments of orbiting debris collided and coalesced until they snowballed to form our moon. The moon is a classical souvenir of that violent epoch, witnessing the experience of the classical gravitational embrace. It was only in the last four centuries of the human existence that we began to use science to reveal nature's secrets and her laws. The scientific method is so powerful that in mere four centuries it has taken us from Galileo's first look through a telescope at another world to leaving our footprints on the moon. To unveil the mystery of the most mysterious force in the cosmos, we have with us Dr. Thanu Padmanabhan. Dr. Thanu Padmanabhan is one of India's leading physicists and cosmologists. As a theoretical physicist, his pioneering research in the field of gravitation and other avenues in physics has earned him accolades and recognition across the globe. Dr. Padmanabhan completed his BSc in Physics in 1977 from University College, Kerala University. He later went on to do his Masters in 1979 from the same institute. He was the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research for his PhD. He later went on to serve as faculty of Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai in 1980. He also spent a year at the Institute of Astronomy, Cambridge. He has also been a visiting faculty at Caltech, California and at the Princeton University, New Jersey and a Sackler Distinguished Astronomer of the Institute of Astronomy, Cambridge. He moved to Ayuka in 1992 and took over as its Dean of Core Academic Programs in 1997, a position he still holds today. He has also served as the President of Cosmology Commission of International Astronomical Union from 2009 to 12. He has also served as the Chairman of the Astrophysics Commission of International Union for Pure and Applied Physics from 2011 to 14. He is an elected fellow of all the three National Academies of Sciences in India. He has also received numerous awards for his scientific accomplishments, notably among them being the B.M. Birla Award in 1991, the S.S. Bhatnagar Award in 1996, the Tors Prize in Physics in 2011. Along with that, he has been awarded by Gravity Research Foundation of the United States six times. He was also awarded the Infosys Prize in Physical Sciences by the Infosys Science Foundation in 2009. But the crown jewel was when he was awarded the Padma Shri by the Government of India, one of India's highest civilian award. 
as he speaks on the enigma of gravity on the eve of the centenary celebrations of the general theory of relativity. Papua Deshmukh College of Engineering feels privileged to host Dr. Thano Padmanabhan.